This YCN segment is brought to you by Harris Family Furniture in Plymouth, Laconia, and Chichester. Welcome in YCN Sports Talk, Jeremy Stout, and today my guest is Brett Franklin, none other than the famous, the infamous Brett whoa, Franklin. Whoa! There you go. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that. Well, you wear the nice but... suit. You got, you know, I you almost, dress up better than me. I almost emailed Jeremy to say I'm coming in my attire for the Dartmouth men's game later on tonight, and I didn't want to one up you. But apparently okay. I did. That's so okay. I'm sorry. Brett from ESPN Radio for the Upper Valley 94.5 FM. You can catch his show uh, weekdays 12 to 1 and uh, also on WYCX Channel 713 from 5 to 6. Brett, let's jump into some pre-Thanksgiving Day basketball. Celtics on tonight, and they are looking for win number 17 in a row. This team just keeps doing it every way. You know, big comebacks, fourth quarter comebacks, overtime wins. It's, it's unbelievable. Can you explain? Have you seen anything like this? Uh, we have, but it was the uh, the big three right. way back when. Um, but it's it's quite an impressive run and a little bit of history being made. I think I told you on the radio earlier this week. I'm not going to let anybody rain on my parade here. You know, I know it's November. NBA basketball doesn't have too much meaning for some, but. Uh, I think for a team that's still trying to figure each other out, losing Gordon Hayward at the beginning of the year, all these games are going to be very important to gel and mold moving forward uh, for this team. So I think right now, enjoy it. Right. Uh, young guys are getting a lot of minutes or uh, more minutes than we thought at the beginning of the season. And you never know what you're going to get. And I think that's what's the beauty of this team is every game is fun and every game goes down to the wire. Well, yeah, and every game matters. I mean, a win is a win, no matter if it comes in November or if it comes in February. So it does matter, and you don't know what's going to happen down the road. So, uh, and, and speaking of down the road, we talk about the offense a little bit. Uh, they're obviously known for their defense, the best defensive team in the NBA by far. Their offense, though, is, is average at best. You know, it's kind of towards the bottom third. But when they need it, they step it up. And Kyrie Irving, one of the best players in crunch time. Uh, but is this offense – are you worried about that, that they just haven't really gone as well as they could be? I mean, maybe it's just compared to their defense. That's why. Yeah, I, I think, you know, when you look at what the Celtics are doing defensively, they're keeping teams under 100 points. Yeah. And I think in the NBA, that's kind of the benchmark, right, if you can keep teams – within the mid to low 90s, uh, you'll take that. But I think the defense is offsetting the offense. And, you know, while last year, I think this offensive problem's a little bit better than what we had last year. Right. Uh, you look back to last year's team, it was all Isaiah Thomas. If they didn't have anybody after him, mm. then they were pretty much in deep trouble. Uh, if Kyrie's off a night, We've seen Jalen Brown. If it's not Jalen Brown, it's Kyrie Irving or Al Horford, Horford will step yeah. up with a big game. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit early on, but I think the deep, you know, the way they're playing defense, they're okay with this offense. And um, I'd rather have a stronger defensive team going into the playoffs because right. you're going to be playing some high flying teams. But I think right now they're okay for for now. Right, and defense always ramps up in the playoffs, like you mentioned. So I'd rather have, you're right. You'd rather have the defensive effort going now and then find the offense. A, a guy who certainly doesn't have any offense as of late or this whole season, Marcus Smart. And we talked about him on the radio show yesterday. Uh, his numbers, his, his raw numbers are, are pretty terrible. Uh, let's just put it, put it like that. But they're playing well when he's on the court. Good defensively, whether it's spacing, ball movement, whatever it is, he is a key piece despite what some of his numbers make it seem like. Yeah, if you're one of those NBA analytics guys, then... Marcus Smart's your guy, yeah. right? Like number two in the NBA in defensive efficiency. Um, I think you said his plus minus, one of the highest top mm -hmm. 20 in, in the NBA. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, as much as some of the shot selection and some of the plays that he makes on the floor, you're kind of scratching your head. He's an integral part of it. So um, I think he's still going to be a guy that the team, that the Celtics are going to probably package in if they're going to make a move at the trade deadline, right. which I think they will. Um but he's in a contract year. He's playing well, and you're getting the most out of him, and you kind of take the lumps with it. But statistically, he's one of your better players as far as those non-crucial stats. Right. Your points per game, field goal percentage aren't very good. But if you look at those analytics, which some of the uh, nerdier uh, NBA guys like right. to check out, uh, then he's your guy. So it's it's really weird. Two sides of the coin on Marcus Smart. Yeah, and, and you mentioned the trade thing, and that's interesting because it, it clearly looks like they're not going to give him an extension, and he's going to be obviously a free agent. So that would be a... a kind of a strategic move to package them together. Okay, so they play the Heat uh, Wednesday night, then they have the Orlando Magic at home on Friday, and then back-to-back -back they go to Indiana for, for that game. Uh, who? When do they lose next if they do? Uh, probably uh, 
Indiana Saturday night off the back to back. Yeah, I that think. seems to be. The, you convinced me the other day that well, that's, I just a, that's think, a better. Well, point. and and uh, sounded like that you had your guest on today. I think someone else had had said that might be one of the times uh, that they lose because I just don't see them losing to Miami tonight and then back home against Orlando. So we'll see. But almost a quarter of the way through the season and only two losses, so a great start for the Celtics team. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll get into some NFL. Obviously, Patriots off a big win. And obviously, how does the AFC playoff picture look? We'll take a break. You're watching YCN Sports Talk.